you would do is go to issue.com, I-S-S-U-U.com, and you'll go to this page, and so they started changing their plans up a little bit here um, to kind of get people to become what they're calling uh, publishers, which is essentially like you have to pay a fee every month, and then you get commissions on what content people read out of your um, articles online. <laughs> But if you actually go uh, down this page, you can actually see, click this button that says See Publisher Plans. They kind of make it look um, the same. It's kind of, you know, they make it look the same as like the avenue you would take to pay for the plan. And you can actually go for a sign up for free uh, basic plan. And you can essentially just do the same thing. So you can go, um, what is my email? Uh, Oh, yeah, Gmail. So just give them a Gmail or an email account. Um, create a password. Create your free account. Oh, accept some terms. Uh, and then create. And so what it'll do is it'll create an account. I can just put whatever in here. And just say finish. And so uh, what you would then do is actually um, generate a PDF from an InDesign document and, um, and then save your document as a PDF and then drag it up to here and then create that uh, document inside of, of issue. So um, there's only one thing that you have to keep in mind when you export this piece as a PDF is, um, I'll open this document up. Um, is that instead of exporting as spreads, you're going to want to export this document as pages. So um, if I go to File Export, um, and then I'll just choose my desktop and then call it like ISSUU Sample. Um, uh, you want to down here make sure that Adobe PDF Print is selected. Let me just tighten that up. Here we go. And save. And so um, what I typically do is just keep the high quality print settings um, and then make sure that I export this as pages. So I make sure that this pages icon is selected um, rather than spreads. And that's pretty much it. You don't want to have any bleeds or anything on it, um, right? Because it's, it's just going to be, uh, there's no bleeds necessary on this. It's not actually going to be printed. So I'll go ahead and export. And it'll probably take a little while, um, especially for the document this large. Oh. But once done, um, and I have this sample here. Let's make sure it's got art on it. Yeah, so I'll take the first couple pages out. So I'll take this sample and I'll just drag it over. All right, and then it kind of does its thing. And then it has to go through this converting process. Okay, so it's ready to be published already. So I'll hit publish now. And I'll add a title here. Oh, actually, I'll, I guess I'll have to add the title here. So here's it. Here we go. And I don't really necessarily have to fill all this stuff out. So then I'll hit publish now. And so it's going to go through this converting process a little bit. And then after a while, what you'll be able to do is have all of these options available to you. Um, embed allows you to actually let's kind of see. All right. Uh, so embed is going to allow you to, and once my uh, document uploads here, um, it'll kind of show a preview. Um, but what that's going to do is let me establish a <laughs> pixel width and height, um, check if I want to have the width be responsive, change my background colors, responsive meaning the size fluctuates on the web page, therefore the size of the content will fluctuate. Um, and then that's it. I can uh, select all of my options here and then get save and get code. And then this is essentially the bit of code that you would just copy and paste into um, uh, the body of your uh, web page um, in HTML. Or um, if you have 
um, you know, some content management system sites like WordPress allow this. Um, WordPress, I know for a fact, doesn't unless you have like a, a buy-up version um, of WordPress. Um, but if you have like a hard-coded site that could work on your site, or you can actually just um, add a link um, somewhere on your portfolio to this document here. And I would just hit open in that, in that case. And then it would just lead a user to this page where they could then flip through this document and so on and so forth. What I started doing, um, because some of my content um, had been a little bit difficult to um, uh, follow along with, um, a lot of my uh, samples that are um, uh, flippable things are things like this. Like this is a metrics document. So this shows like um, increase and decreases of use and, and performance of like uh, a software that I, that I was working on. Um, and so sometimes this information could be a little bit too much to see, especially like when I go deeper in this document, like these pie charts and everything. Um, so what I had been doing in the past was actually like recording my explanation of this stuff as I'm flipping through it and then sharing it with people online um, that would be interested. Um, so they could actually hear me say what the, what they're actually looking at. Um, so, um, you know, things are changing so fast and it's just um, thinking differently about some of this stuff, of print especially, putting it digitally is just, you know, print is dying. So <laughs> that's this is sort of the next step. Print isn't dying from colleague to colleague uh, disbursement, but it's it's dying from a sense of uh, you don't you don't um, you don't buy products from Sears via catalog necessarily anymore. Um, you buy that stuff you know online. When it's a business to business environment, which is like um, a floor shine, what they do with their shoes and stuff, um, they do send actually hard copies of paper and so on. Um, but um, this is just gives gives your print stuff more legs. Um, and uh, um, it could be useful uh, in the future. So, um, it, and it's really simple to do and it's free. So that's just kind of a quick 